Welcome to this tutorial on using subqueries in SQL for data analysis. In today's fast-paced business world, data analysts are often required to work with vast amounts of data that are spread across multiple tables. Subqueries are a powerful tool that allow us to filter and manipulate data by using the result of one query as the input for another query. However, Subqueries can be difficult to master, especially when dealing with multiple tables. In this tutorial, we will focus on the four more common subqueries, in, not in, exists, and not exists. These subqueries are essential for filtering data based on specific criteria, and it will help you gain a more complete understanding of your data. So whether you're a beginner or an experienced data analyst, this tutorial will provide you with the knowledge and skills to use subqueries effectively in your data analysis. So let's get started. Let's start by discussing the in and not in functions in SQL. These functions are used to filter data based on specific values. Typically, we use the where clause with an equals operator to filter data. For example, in this worker table of information from Amazon, we can filter for only workers from HR and admin departments. This can be done using the where clause like so. But imagine you have a longer list of values to filter. It can become quite cumbersome to use the OR operator to filter by each value. Instead, we can use the IN function to filter data. Similarly, we can also find information about workers who joined in the month of January, April, and June by coding. And this can be made much shorter and more readable than the query using the OR operator, which would be something like this. If you want to exclude specific values from our list instead, we can just use the NOT IN function. Using the same worker table from Amazon, let's try to solve the problem. Here we've been given some workers to exclude based on their first names, so we can easily solve this by filtering them out by saying return all values from the worker table where the first name is not in the list of values which are Vipul or Satish. We also don't want workers with last names containing a C, the letter C, so add that in the where clause too. In and not in functions are not only useful in filtering data based on specific list of values. By using in and not in, we can also filter the main table based on a set of values from another table or subquery without having to join the tables together. Let's try this out in this question from Wine Magazine, where we have two data sets, WineMag P1 and WineMag P2. So here we're asked to determine which countries are in the first data set but not in the second. So here is the data schema for WineMag P1. So we have the country over here and WineMag P2. So basically, we simply need to select the distinct countries from WineMag P1 and filter out any country which is in the second database. So let's do that. When using in or not in in SQL, we typically follow the same format. First, we select the columns we want from a main table. Then we use a where clause to filter where a specific column is either in or not in a list of values. This list of values can be specified in a tuple-like format or in a subquery that returns a list of eligible values from the column name. It's important to note that if we're using a subquery, it needs to return a list of values for a specific column that we're filtering on. For example, if we're filtering based on column 1, the subquery should also return column 1 values only. We should avoid returning multiple columns in the subquery. Let's discuss another SQL function that enables us to filter data based on results from another table, which is called exists and not exists. But before we delve into some examples, it's important to understand the difference between in, not in, and exists, not exists, as they can be easily confused. So both are used in the where clause, but their functionalities differ. In and not in functions, filter rows by checking if a particular value is present or not. On the other hand, exists and not exist functions filter based on the existence of a row in a subquery. Let's examine an example from Meta to demonstrate this. 
In this question, we're provided with two tables, users' friends and users' pages, which is just a list of users and their friends and a list of users and the pages they follow. So the task is to recommend new pages to each user based on what their friends follow. A page is recommended if at least one of their friends follows the page. To solve this problem first, we need to determine for each user the pages that their friends follow. Because discovery is the aim of recommendation systems, we want to show new pages, meaning the page recommendation should not already be followed by the user and not be duplicated. To recommend new pages to users, we first need to identify the pages that their friends follow. To do this, we can join the user's friends table to the user's pages table using the following query. However, since friends might follow the same pages, we need to make sure that we only return distinct page recommendations for each user. So we can add the distinct keyword to the select statement like this. Now, we also want to make sure that the recommendation pages are not already being followed by the user. To achieve this, we can use the not exists operator to remove any page that the user already follows. So the subquery used in not exist operator checks for the existence of matching rows in another table. Therefore, the subquery selects all pages that match the current user in the outer query and not exist operator is used to check if the subquery returns any rows. If it does, the condition is true and the page is included in the result set. Thank you for joining me in solving these questions. If you found that helpful, why don't you go out and check out the other tutorials in our channel. But if you prefer to test your skills instead, head over to stratascratch.com to solve different levels of interview questions.